hi everyone welcome back again so in this video i'm going to show you how to build a blog with django and tailwind in this time so on the screen here we have a simple blog application built with django on the back end and then i used tailwind to style the front end in this time. so over here you can click and you can read more on the blog post you read more in this time. so the aim of the aim of this video is to show you how to integrate tailwind into your django application in this time. so that's the aim. Our blog is also very responsive. Instead, you can scroll that you can on a, on, on a small screen. Our blog still looks good thanks to Tailwind. So, in this video, I'll show you everything how it's been done. It's super simple. So, without further ado, we are getting started right now. And don't forget, the source code will be linked in this video's description. So okay, guys, so now let's start building. So, I'm going to open my command prompt. So, go down to the search bar and search for CMD. So, I already have yeah yeah command prompt so uh come up so it's up already so you just make it smaller looking too big um yeah so it's up so let me make it big yeah the font size yeah perfect so i'm going to answer my document directory i'm going to say cd document so yeah i'm here ready so once i've done this now i'll simply activate my virtual environment instance so as for you create your virtual environment and activate yours so i'm going to say work on tailwind env so these are so these are these are i activate my own virtual environment so so my virtual environment has been activated so i'm going to create my django project. i'm going to say django admin start uh, yeah, start project. So I'm gonna call it YT Tailwind. Yeah. So oh yeah, let me just yeah, that's it. That's the name. So this is my Django. This this is the name of my Django project. Understand? YT stands for YouTube. Understand? YT Tailwind. Let me just put Django at the back. Yeah. So here's the name of my Django project. Understand? So you can call us whatever name you like. So. This is for it. So I'm going to wait for it to get created. So it has been created now. So I'm going to say cd yt underscore tailwind underscore django. Enter. So yes, I'm there now. So right now I can create an app. I can just say python manage.py manage.py start app. I'll just call it uh, tail app. Yeah. Enter. Um, okay, that's done. Now. So I'm going to simply open this directory with VS Code. I'm going to say code and then dot. So the directory has been opened with VS Code, so we can guess it fully. Okay, I'm going to say yes, I trust the others. So let's run server, terminal, terminal. Okay, we'll close this. So I'm going to say over here, because we have a drop down here. I, make, I want to make this bigger so we can, yeah. So this drop down here, choose command prompt. Yeah, so, okay, I already have my virtual environment activated there, that's fine. So once, once I, I'm gonna just say run server, Python manager spy. Run server, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna change my port number, let's just say 8008. That's because the default port number is currently used by this application. So I'm gonna change the port number. Okay, I'm gonna say enter. So right now I have my local server running. Let's open that and see what it looks like. Okay, you can see it looks like perfect. So what I want to do now, let's go and configure Tailwind into our project. So right now, before we start configuring Tailwind, I need to make sure my app is registered. So I'm going to open my my setting.py file, this, this settings file. So I'm going to add my app called TailHub. Just scroll down over here. Let's add the app TailHub. Yeah. Tail hub, yes. So we have that, that's fine. So now, what next? So go down to your browser and search for Flowbytes. So we are going to use Flowbytes to, so search for Flowbytes in the browser. Uh, Flowbytes, show up, show up. Okay, it's here. So now, Flowbytes has a perfect configuration for us to get Tailwind on our Django project instance. So they have a perfect, they have a perfect configuration for Django and Tailwind. So right now, just scroll down, scroll down so you can see over. You can see the, this, these are the different frameworks and libraries Flowbytes supports. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll find Django. So here is Django now. So click on this. Okay. 
So yeah, we are here now. So first of all, they had to create a Django project in the stand. So we've done all of that. So just scroll down. We've done all this. Yeah, so let's get started from here. So now, oh, so now right now we are going to create a template directory in our in in our Django project instance. So we are going to create a template folder in our Django project. So over here, come here. So this is it. so this so we, are, so we are going to do that in the root directory of our Django project instance. So the same part, the same place you have your your manage.py file. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to just right click here, new folder, and I'm going to call it templates. So enter. So so what we are going to do now is we are going to simply make sure we are going to simply let Django know about this folder called templates because by default Django expects your templates to be found in a app. In the stand. So right now this template is is a standalone folder. This is a standard. It, it is a standalone directory. So you need to let Django know that. You need to let Django know about it. So just scroll to where you have your look for your templates variable. And then we have a we have a key called DIRS. So over here, I'm gonna just come over here and add, I'm gonna say base directory slash templates. So just by doing this now, Django is already aware of this folder called templates. So so that's so that's so that's what they did here. So scroll down. So now once you've done that, now we need to install a new dependency called Django Compressor. Just copy this. Control C to your Django projects over here. There's a terminal. Yeah. So you just paste that there and enter. This is too big. Yeah, and enter. So you should install it. So now let's so it has been installed now. Okay, scroll down. Let's go. Okay, need to so now we need to add compressor to our installed apps. Copy. So just follow me step by step. You get the whole you get everything. So now where's installed apps here? So now over here, I can paste it there. Okay. So also done that now. The next thing to do, scroll down. Okay, now we need to add all this stuff to our to our to the settings.py file. Just copy. Control C. Yeah. So follow me step by step. I'll just add it over here, just under my yeah, just here. Perfect. So also done that now. Okay, now so you can see now we, we are asked to create two new folders. The first one is called static, and the other one is called the source folder. So let's now, right now, let's go and create the folders. Go down to your root directory, the same parts as your manage as the manage.py file. You understand? So just here, just okay. Mm, new folder, I'm gonna call it static. Yeah, static is a name. And then inside of static, I'm gonna create another folder called SRC. No, it's a folder, new folder, SRC, enter. Yeah, and, and right here, from what they did here now, so inside of that folder called SRC, I'm gonna create a file called input.css. So, right click new file, input.css. Yep, so we've done that. So what else? Just keep scrolling gradually. Okay, now so right now we need to go and configure our views. So from what I, from what I showed you, here, we have two views: the index view and also the detail view. So let's go and configure that quickly. So guys, so let's go. So let's go and quickly. Let's go and quickly create our index view. We start from the from the from the instruction we have here from the guide we are following. You can see we have a view for the this this. So right, this, this is the index view. So go down to your project now. Go down to your tail app, your views.py file. Okay, let's go to let's go to index view quickly. Gonna call it dev index. So you're gonna accept the request parameter, request, and then I'm gonna simply return render, and they're gonna return request and then index.html. So the aim of this video is to show you how to integrate Django and Tailwind, you understand? So in this video, I'm going to link down a full Django tutorial that will guide you on how to build a complete blog application that includes comments, authentication, pagination, deployment. I'm going to link it. I'm going to link that tutorial in this video's description, you understand? So this video is meant to show you how to integrate Tailwind with Django. 
So I'm going to return index.html. That's it. And then, yeah. So we have that there. And let me just pass in my context. Context. I'll need it later. Context. Yeah. So I'm going to create a an empty context dictionary. Yeah. So that's fine. So now I need to go create this template called index.html. So go down to your tool app and then create a new folder called templates. And then inside the folder, I'm going to create a file called index.html, index.html. Yeah, enter. And once I've done this now, we're not done. I'm going to create a new, so now I need to create a map, a map. I mean, I, I, so right now, I need to create a URL pattern for this view. So I'm going to create a new file called urls.py. So in that file, I'm going to say django.urls, let's import parts. And also, once I've done that, enter, I'm going to say from, uh, I want to say from dot import the views module. So, and then my URL patterns. So I'm going to say parts. So I'm going to point out to the views dot index. And then I'm going to just say name should be equal to index. That's fine. Okay, so right now we need to let Django know about our. So right now we need to let Django know about this URL.py file. So go down to your project URL.py file over here now. Just come over here. We're gonna register it. It's gonna say parts. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just say include include um, tail app dot URLs. And yeah, make sure you have include imported. Yes, so now where's my so I'm gonna just open my temp my index.html file which is here. Let me just say h1, let's test it's gonna say index page. I want to test and make sure it's working. Let's run the server. Remember I told you we're on port 8008. Okay, let's see the server come up, come up. Oh we are facing an error. From Django's import parts, is there a problem with that? From okay, it's meant to be it's meant to be from Django. From Django.urls import parts. So now let's run again and see what if everything is working. Um yeah, refresh. Good. So let's continue now. So we already have our view done. So let's continue following over here. Okay, we already have our URLs done. So now leave that scroll, skip it. Yeah, so now we need to paste this code into this is this is so right this is a towin setup. So we need to paste this into our base.html. So our base.html, this is what it is here. It is this footer and header. So now okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what are we doing? What are we doing? So let's paste this code. You can just copy it. And copy. Uh, what was happening? Copy this. Control C. Go down to your code. So create a new file in your. So in this root templates, create a new file called base.html. In the root template, I said. Okay. I want to done that now. Paste the copy. Paste the copy code. So right now, we already have our code copied into our base.html. So what is the next? Let's see what's next on the instruction. So scroll down. Okay, now, so remember we have an index.html. We already have that. So just copy this. Copy this and paste over to your index.html. That's what we have here. They have index.html. So just control A and paste it. And make sure this is base.html. Base.html. Because that's the name of your templates of your base templates understand so okay we have those two done so what's the next thing so now we are asked to run server see if you run server now let's run server and see maybe our server is already up i guess so now control c let's run server uh, server let's run 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 okay waiting for it okay our server is back again so to the browser Refresh. Uh, what was happening? You can see now we are facing an error with 
our output.css and that's coming from the base templates. Mm, this. So remember we don't have that file yet. We don't have the file called output. We don't have the file we don't have the file called output.css yet. So now let's go work on it. So once we've done that now, it's time for us to install Tailwind CSS. And we are going to use this command. And you can see we have npm install the Tailwind CSS. Before you can do this, must, you, must, you must make sure you have Node installed in your computer. So go down to your browser and search for Node.js. 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 So this first link, click on it. So Node.js.org. So come over here and then have Node.js installed on your computer. So once you have this installed, you can then run that command you see there. So make sure you have Node.js installed because npm you see here, this npm is a node, it, it is a package manager for node. You understand? Just, just the way we have pip for Python, we have npm for node. So make sure you have node installed before you run this command. Okay, so now, what next now? So copy the command, copy, control C, copy, and then down to your, to your terminal. Just control C on the terminal. Yeah, and then paste the command there, enter. Um, let's wait for it to run. Don't take time, run, run, run. Okay, it's trying to install Tailwind CSS. So now let's wait for it as it's installing. So it's done installing Tailwind CSS. So what next? So we need to. So we need to, so we want to create a file called tailwind.config.js. So we're going to create that file using this command. Copy and then paste here. Enter. So once it's done running, you're going to see, you can see we have this file called, okay, there's a file. A file is near created. Let's wait for it. Um, waiting. Okay. So we already have the file here, tailwind.config.js. Perfect. So now let's close it for now. Let's close it. And let's continue from where we stopped. So just scroll. Okay, so now what we need to do now, we need to copy. I think we are asked to configure the template part using the. Okay, now let's copy this and add to our towing to that newly father, that new father, to the new father was created. We are just going to copy this line. Copy to your code now. Open your towing.config.js file. And then the copied code you copied now, make sure, let's see, it was, it was right now, instead of, instead of the contents array, paste that code over here, that as it should be here. Yes, that's where it's meant to be. So once you've done that, we're almost done. So now we're going to copy this code into our input.css. Copy, and over here, where are you? We have a file, yeah. Paste the code here. Yes. Once you've done that, what next? And now we want to create our output.css. This file causing this error. So now we're gonna just command here, copy this, control C to your terminal. Enter. Let's wait for it. Okay now, so we are done so we are, we are done running that command. We are done running the command. Now go down to your static folder. You see, we have a new f you, uh, we have a new file called output.css, so that's perfect. So let's close all this stuff. Close, close, close. We don't need them now. Yeah, close everything. Okay, so we have that now. So what's left now? So I think so now. We are, no, so right now, if we let's run our local. Let's run, let's run the local our local server. So refresh the page. Refresh was up. Okay, sorry, I need to run right now. We need to run. We need to run our server on a different terminal. So this is so this one is meant for our tailwind. So now create open a new command prompt and let's say Python manage your spy run server eight run server a zero zero eight and then enter. So guys, our server is up again to the browser. Refresh. So perfect. So right now, this is a sign that Tailwind is running. You understand? So this is coming from our index.html. You can see, you can see from the font style, 
this this is this, this has been start with two range. We're not done. So from our index of HTML, where are you? You can see tailwind plus tail Django plus tailwind plus flow bytes. Yeah, so that's what we have here. So we are not done. So we are not done. So I thought, I thought, I thought, from from what we know before, tailwind is 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 a CSS class framework. You understand? It helps. It provides you with utility CSS classes to help you style your HTML elements. That is how tailwind is. It helps you with classes to style your elements. Is you know on like Bootstrap. Bootstrap we have already styled components for us component like components like navbar your buttons your cards ready have those ones styled on bootstrap but with tailwind it's not like that tailwind just simply tailwind just simply gives you the css classes for each of those components to use you understand so then so here yeah, now flowbits comes in to solve that problem so with flowbits we have Tailwind components. We have the navbar, the buttons, and the rest. Instance, so if you come here on this on the left panel, we have each of these components here with flow bits, with flow bytes rather. You understand? So right now we, we need to go and configure slow bytes for our project. You understand? So from from this tutorial here, so we, so we, need, to, we need to configure flow flow bytes, right? So you just scroll down. Okay. What's next? So we need to install flow bytes. Just copy this command. Copy. Yeah, copy this command. Come over. Let's open a new terminal to install this stuff. So I'll install flow bytes. Enter. Enter. So flow bytes is currently installing. So it is done installing. So after flow bytes, what next? It's no longer much. So we need to add this require to just copy this plugin. Copy this require. Copy it. Go down to your code and then open your tailwind.config file. So install, put in that stuff you copied inside here. Yeah? yeah, this is where it's meant to be. So after we've done that, okay. After we've done that, what next? So we are asked to include flow byte inside the content value. Okay, now copy this, control C, and then come over here. Yeah? And then add flow bytes over inside the content array. Paste it there. Yeah. So we have that there. So what next? So now we need to add this. This is the JavaScript for flow bytes. So for something like your navbar, for for info instance. So just just where we have our Bootstrap JavaScript, we also have our flow bytes JavaScript. So just copy this, copy and then yeah, copy this. And yes, let's go down to your base.html. And paste it just before the closing body tag. Paste it there. Yes, we are done configuring Tailwind for our Django project now. So right now, let's go and complete our blog. Okay, so right now, as I said before, we are going to use Flowbytes to build these things. You understand? Flowbytes is like Bootstrap, or Flowbytes is built on Tailwind. You understand? So over here, from what we have on the screen, we have this. This is not what we want. We want something. What's this? this is what we are working. This, this, we want to achieve this, right? But we've got this, right? Okay, now, so now let's go and get the right code for our base.html. I want to go and get the right code for our base.html. So right now, I have... So I'm going to copy the code from what we've done before, from what I did before, before making this proof, before making this video. So here's my base.html. Let me just copy the code. This is the template. This is the header. This is, this is our navbar. This is my navbar here, yeah, up to this point. And then here's my footer downwards, instance. So I got the code from Flowbytes. And this has been this has been built with Tailwind. And because we've already configured Tailwind in our Django project, this code will look will is gonna work for our it's, it's gonna work just fine in our project because we, because we have already configured Tailwind to work with Django. So whichever Tailwind code you put in your projects. That code is going to work fine. So right now I have my navbar. I'm, I'm going to copy this whole base template into our current code. So here's our base. Here's our current base template. So I'm going to just replace what we have here with what, what I copied. So now I'll go down to your browser now and then refresh this page and see. So boom. So you can see we have our header and the footer. So right now, right now this is the content of the index.html. So I'm going to change that right now. Come over here again. And then where's my index.html? So I'm going to give you guys this source code. I'm going to give you the clean source code where there is no jank, where there is where you where you only have 
only the templates without having any Django thing involved. You understand? So I'm going to share it in this video description as well as the completed project to get. So over here, where's my so here's my index.html, the clean one, control A, control C, and over here to my to our projects now. Paste it here, control A and then control V. Sorry, control V. Yes. Setting, we are good. So here's my index now. Let's refresh the page and then boom. This is what we're having. There's a problem. Our code is not looking our code is not looking like this. I think there's an issue right now. Some files, some styles are missing. So how do we fix this? How do we fix this? Okay, now go on to your project now. It's meant to look. Look at that. It's, look, it's not looking good. It's meant to look like this. Um, what is happening here? This is not complete. Oh, we have. It's meant to look like this. What we have here, but look at look at look at what we have here. No, this is not what we want. No, so styles are not applying properly. So come over here. Okay, we have if you if you if you check the static folder, we have a catch folder there. I'm gonna delete that folder and see. Delete move to recycle bin. Delete delete the catch folder. Move to recycle bin. Okay, into the browser, refresh this guy. Oh, it got worse. Okay, to fix this now, to fix this, there's no problem. I'm going to simply copy this code, copy this, copy, copy, and then come back here. Go down to your terminal. The code that helped us generate our output of CSS. Copy this code. This code that helped us with generating the output of CSS. Copy, what could be the problem? And then go back to your terminal. Open your terminal just here. Okay, just control C. Yes. And then run this command again. Make sure you make sure it's on a, on a separate terminal from your server, from your Django server. Make sure it's a separate terminal. Paste this command again. This command that helps with creating our RSP or CSS. You find it here. Understand? So run the command again. We just lost our styles. So run the command. When the command is done running, refresh the page. So I think it's done to the browser. Oh, this is not looking good. Refresh. Oh, it's still not looking as it should be. So I'm going to simply copy the one from the one I did before. I'm going to simply copy the CSS style. From one from the one we did before previously, I wonder why it's not generating a complete file for so go down to your source folder, source directory. We have source here. Copy the CSS file, control A, control C. Copy this file here and come over to your don't worry, I'm gonna link this video, the I'm gonna link the source code in this video description. So here's my static now. Open the CSS here and paste what you copied. So to the browser and now refresh. Okay, now it's fine. It's fine, right? So for from what happened, so from what happened previously, I guess the CSS that was generated for us was quite in, was incomplete. That's why the star was not applying properly. So what I advise to do now is this now. So I'm going to share this source code. I'm going to share this. Source, I'm going to share this source code with you guys. You understand? So over here in this file, where's the file again? This, this what we have here is a complete throwing CSS source code. It can work with any project you're working on. It can work on any project you're working on. So just copy the contents of your RSP.CSS file and then you can paste it into your project and it's going to simply work fine. You understand? I don't know why it was not able to regenerate a new one for me. But for you, it should, it should create a perfect RSP.CSS file for you. But I don't know why it didn't work for me. Maybe because I've done this several times. That's why it didn't work well. So you can always come back here and then copy the content of this uh, for, of this file called RSP.CSS and then paste in your own content. I'm going to give you the source code in this video, in this video description. So we already have our file looking good. So now right now, let's go and create our models. So right now, we have our templates all working perfectly. You understand our base template, the index template is working fine. 
So now one, so now one, one script of our motors are by, so I'm going to do that quickly. So yeah, go down to your, I'm going to close all this for now. We don't need them now. We don't need them now. So open your tail app, motors.py file, paste this code there. So I'm going to just set blank equal true, blank equal true, and null equal true. Yeah, so we have that now. So make migrations and then proceed. So let's make migrations. Python. Uh, let me miss my time. Python manage at pi. Make migrations. And then let's migrate. Uh, okay, migrating. Now let's create a super user. Okay, let me just say cleans password. Yeah, why? So that done already. Let's run server. So while the server is running, we need to go and make sure our blog is registered in our admin. Let's go down here. We're gonna say from okay, we're gonna say from dot models import blog. We are gonna come over and say admin dot sites dot register. Gonna pass in blog there. Okay. We are good to so the browser. Go down to your admin slash admin. Oh, our admin is looking ugly. That's because of what we've done. That's because of the two wind we've done. So now let's fix this. Our admin is looking bad. That's because of the two wind configurations. Come on to your send.py file. Where is the settings file? Settings file, settings file, settings file, settings file. Yeah, it's here. So you can see what we have. We have something called we have this thing called static files finders. So and what we have here is only the compressed static file. And this this is from Tailwind CSS. So we need to let Django find these static files the right way. So I'll copy from what I've done before to save time. Let me just where are you? Show yourself. Okay, I'm looking for okay my sites. So where we have okay, um, let's copy this. Okay, just copy this. Control C. Okay, it's so what we have here. So I'm going to simply comment this guy out and paste it here. So now, right now, we are looking for our, our static code from the Django way and also from the Tailwind way. So with this done, with this done here, yeah, go down to your browser and refresh. Okay, perfect. I can see it's working fine. So just add this to your code and everything will be fine. So let's log in. Okay, now I'm going to see me just add three blogs. Let me just add three blogs here yeah. Django, Focus, Save. Um, no, you, you can add the description by yourself React 2024 Focus. You can add the description by yourself, save. And then what else? Let's add, let's say two wind focus, two wind. And then save. So we already have these three courses now. Go down to your views.py file, views.py, views.py. So now we're gonna say from, okay, we're gonna say from dot models, import blogs. So we are doing the normal Django stuff we usually do. So I'm gonna just say blogs. I'm gonna say blogs should be equal to blog dot objects dot all. And yeah, pass the blogs into your context dictionary. I'm gonna say blogs. Yeah, yeah, blogs. Yeah, and then we say blogs. 
Once you've done this now, go down to your index page and then your index page. Um, where are you? This is my yeah, over here, index.html. So we really need one of these divs. Make this, like, we really need one of these. Let me just remove the other two. Yeah, remove. Go down to your browser list, what we have here. 127 slash 8008. Yeah, we've got, we only have one now. So I'm going to loop through it. Yeah, we'll see for blog in blogs. For blog in blogs. Let's copy this guy, control X, paste here, and then we're gonna pass our blog tie to say blog dots. Tie to refresh. Ah, oh. there's a mistake there. I said the mistake is coming from for blog in blogs. Move that last in. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Perfect. So we have the blogs here. So it's looking good. So now left for you now. So this so right now this this is a simple Django project in stand. We are trying we are trying we, try, we are trying to create a simple blog. So if you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to create your blog and wrap down to your detailed page like what we have here, that's fine. If if you don't know how to do this, that's fine. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna link down a comprehensive Django tutorial that teaches you how to build a full stack blog. Whereby you're gonna build a blog that also has a comment system, authentication, pagination, the search bar. So this video is mainly to show you how to integrate Storewind in your Django application. So I'm gonna stop here. So I'm gonna leave the rest for you to complete to get what we have here. If you don't know how to achieve that, don't worry. I'm gonna link a comprehensive Django tutorial in this video's description so you can follow along and learn. So before I before I before I end this video, I want to show you something. Over here in your code block, we have a folder called node modules. You are not meant to push this folder to GitHub. You're not meant to push this folder. You're not meant to push this folder because this folder is super large. So, so to prevent the so, so to prevent that, so I'm gonna create a new file here. Yeah? I'm gonna call the file dot git dot git ignore dot git ignore. Enter and in that file I'm gonna simply just put in that folder there. I'm gonna say node underscore modules. Node underscore modules. And yes, so now you can push to GitHub freely without having this folder pushed. You understand? So I think that's it. so right now. I think we've come to the end of the video. I think um, right now you are sure you've learned how to integrate Tailwind CSS into your Django project. You understand? So this will work with any Django project you are building, any Django project. You understand? So to make this work, you understand? Just follow this tutorial and then come down to Flow Byte. And then you can have whatever components you need to build to build your web application. Come down to Flowby, Flowby, come on. So on Flowby, say click on Docs. You click on Docs. Okay, on the left panel, on the left side, just scroll down to where you have components. You can pick whatever components you want, and you can start building your app with Tailwind, CSS, and Django. So that's it now. So I really hope you gain some value. If you gain some value, subscribe to my channel, like the video, drop a comment for me. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in the next video. So stay blessed and bye-bye.